Aromosai's son, Apostle Joel Ogabe, is not left out in this analysis, and here is why. His father, Apostle Aromosai, has been a topic of discussion since his public criticism of the doctrine of miracle money. We in the thinking community right here have established the fact that Hubert Angel's miracle money and a miracle credit score was actually an organized scam. If you doubt me, watch my previous videos to know where we have been before. But however, it is not important to note that Apostle Aramo Isai made no direct call out at anyone in his video against the miracle money doctrine. And even though Hubert Angel did not mention the name of who he was talking to in his video, Clearly, everyone understood that he was coming after Apostle Aramo Osai based on the names he mentioned, Oroko and the rest. And this trend has led to the sons and daughters of both parties, by that I mean the visible ones and the invisible ones like you in the comments dragging each other on social media over the issue. This reminds me of what Michael Oroko said in a recent video that is purported to be more like a rebuttal or his opinion about that particular issue. Listen to what he had to say. You, if somebody else attacks you or speaks against you, it's not an avenue to rebuff. It's not an avenue to attack back and bring superior argument. Do you know what happens? Those who follow will be excited. Yes, that my own pastor too has brought his opinion and then they will start arguing which opinion is superior. At the end of the day, you know what? You know who we suffer is the followers. Because what that does is that it plants bitterness and dishonor in the hearts of those who follow. This is why when the church in Corinth were fighting, I belong to Paul, I belong to Apollos, I belong to Cephas. You know the foundation of the argument. Others said, Cephas is the one who walked with Jesus Christ. He's the head of the church. So he's bigger than all the apostles. And the other ones came and said, Paul is more doctrinally sound. The realm Paul enters and the things Paul knows. Even Peter knows that Paul knows better. And then the other ones came and said, no, Apollos is the next generation. All those ones are old apostles. This is where God is going. <laughs> so we'll follow Apollos. Apollos is the future. Others say Paul has stature. Paul has spiritual intelligence. Others say Peter was the one who sat with Jesus Christ. And when Paul showed up, because Paul was mature, he wasn't moved about followership. He wasn't moved about who validated him or who disagreed with him. When Paul showed up, he said, stop that. He said, did Paul die for you? He said, did Apollos die for you? He said, Paul planted Apollos waters. Christ gave the increase. So he channeled the whole glory from men. Because the reason they were fighting like that in the first place was because their allegiance was not to Jesus, it was to men. Now let's take a look at the son of Hubert Angel that challenged Arome Osai with a miraculous story of Hubert Angel. I decree miracle money. Lift up your phones. Someone somewhere was saying that ah, it's a shameful thing. It's a shame for an apostle somewhere to believe that God cannot give miracle money. Yes, sir. He should explain to us how he fed 5,000 uh -huh. in the Bible. Yes, sir. How he gave quails to feed the children of Israel. Yes, sir. How he brought manna from heaven. Mm. And he said, no, the money is, money is not of heaven. <laughs> he should tell us where the ravens got the food they gave Elijah. Yes, sir. It's a shameful thing. Yes, sir. What we should be arguing is should believers depend on miracle money? That should be the argument. But miracle money is real. It's real, yes, sir. God can do anything. In fact, that night when I was talking about this at the broadcast, someone got an alert instantly. Yes, sir. The next day, another person an alert. Yes, sir. Recall back to work. Yes, sir. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shouldn't limit God for God's sake. Yes, sir. I watched the video of one man of God. He was trying hard. Like, that is even a headache. That is even fighting your own calling by yourself. Yes, sir. Trying hard to explain the miracle of the fish carrying money. Trying hard to fight miracle money. You should be focused on your calling. Yes, sir. Miracle money. How many of you have received miracle money in this church? I pray you got miracle money. Yes, Look sir. at people here. Yes, Come sir. and I capture them. Yes, sir. Miracle money. Yes, sir. You know what makes it a miracle? Whether you know the sender or not, the money never came until the man of God gave a declaration, made yes, a declaration. Sir. Yes, sir. That's what makes it miracle money. You were waiting for money, it never came. Once a declaration went for it, it came. It's a miracle. Yes, sir. 
Shout hallelujah. Yes, sir. God is my witness. What I have seen with Prophet Hubert Angel in our prophetic class, he played a video for us. I was shocked. He said, I cannot show the world this video. He said, Media play. Yes, sir. This man was going from street to street to beggars, collecting their bags, empty bags. He was, Is this your bag? Make sure there's nothing inside. Empty it. Collect it. Lay hands on it. Pray. Once he drops the bag, you see money in the bag. He was doing miracle money for beggars. And then when they say, Ha! Ah, who are you? Then you ask his evangelism team now. Evangelize to them. He moves to the next person. That was how he was evangelizing on the street of London. I watched that video live. Someone sits somewhere. Haba, haba, haba. It is either jealousy or a departure from the faith. What he says right there just sounds interesting because if you watch the video of Hubert Angel when he was attacking the person of Apostle Remo Osai, he talked about the whole idea of him, Remo Osai, always giving stories and stories and how come most of his stories that he gets to give, there are no videos to them. You understand? And this is someone right here telling a story of Hubert Angel and how he was commanding money to appear from nowhere in people's bags who were poor. And uh, I will now ask the followers of Hubert Angel, where is the video to that? I think this also should ask, make you guys understand that right here on social media, you would watch many videos of quote and unquote many men of God telling stories about how they did this, how they did this, how they did that. You are not going to be, I will not see anyone in the comment asking, oh, where is the evidence? Where is this and that? Why? Because already you are sewn into that person and you believe whatever they say. So right here on my platform, the reason why you don't see me come and say, oh, I am questioning someone's story of a miracle or I'm questioning this and that. When I deal with something, I'm looking at a video that is right there in front of me and I'm dissecting it. Do you understand? So if I don't get to analyze quote and unquote a miracle, either it is not trending that I have to, it has to be on the radar for me to talk about or because whatever that miracle you think is a miracle or a real miracle, maybe it's a real mi miracle. I've never disregarded the idea that the real, mi that real miracles happen. So if you are looking for something too extraordinary, that is what makes these people go to the extra mile of trying to do gimmicks which I expose here back to back for you to see what they're doing. If you have not watched my videos on the gimmicks of pastors and all that, Bushiri have done, Nana Poku have done, Ubat Angel have done. But for this person that is talking about Ubat Angel, he's just looking for some form of attention and it's just an upcoming mafia in the body of Christ defending the body of men he belongs to. Now remember who is his principal. Inside the refrigerator to your left, there is something written grilled beef, grilled yeah. beef, a pack of grilled beef. Yeah. And on this side, there are three tomatoes inside the refrigerator. Yeah. So right now, if I read your comments there, defending whoever in the, is in the comment, if you're, the way you sound in your defense, guess me know whether you belong to the body of Christ or you belong to the body of men. <laughs> because when facts are presented before you and you can see them clearly for what they are, if you just cannot face the truth for what it is and you're trying to meander around the subject to talk about something else, it's very clear what you are doing in the comments. Then we have this other one who said that speaking against the person of Hubert Angel is actually grieving the Holy Spirit. And in doing so, he called out Apostle Aramosai and Apostle Joel, but he did something really interesting. He blurred their faces. Take a close look at this. He went to Nigeria. He was preaching in a place where I am told, which is a rural area. So in rural areas, what do they need? They need money. If I be a prophet of God, let miracle money appear now. It is happening. Money began to appear in people's handbags, wallets, multiplying in their very hand. This raw money just appeared into the hands of this man. He has got four million in his yeah. Ever since my father did that and he came back, oh my gosh, apostles and pastors who don't know how to do it kept attacking him. Then a preacher comes and says, miracle money is coming to you from heaven through the anointing. It is illegal for a preacher to say there is something called miracle money. You know, I had to open the scripture. What we are looking for is, is miracle money. And people ask, where is this in the Bible? Jesus came to Peter and said, go to the sea. Come 
cast in a hook and catch the first fish that comes. Open its mouth, take the coin, and go and pay the taxes for you and me. Somebody will say, okay, 200 naira has appeared in my bag. Uh, 50 naira has appeared in my bag. And then I ask myself a question. The pastor praying for the miracle money. Why does he not include the church account? That What rubbish. This is the reason why these same preachers don't get the miracle on them for themselves. They need one, but they can't get it. I'm a prophet through and through. Now you start fire, I end it with fire. And you're speaking against a man who has three degrees in finance. A man who is a multimillionaire. Do you know what that is called in the Bible? That's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Was the Holy Spirit there when he was being a diplomatic mafia? Of course, yes. You, And this is what I think. You guys or pastors who have your own podiums, who are sons and daughters of him, defending either the doctrine or defending the obvious fake miracle, are now the ones that are really grieving the Holy Spirit. But because God is so patient and so loving and man because god is so patient some of you would be wondering why is it that thunder has not struck from heaven and struck these people no the grace of god is long suffering i would say the grace of god is very sufficient and that's why i mean i'm not in the whole gang of uh enemies fall and die i would rather pray for my enemies or those who hate me or whatever to live to see me become that which they never expected because reality is going to be happening right before their eyes now how can your audience know who you are talking about except you don't want them to listen to the right doctrine or recognize the faces they should be clicking to maybe when they come on youtube to watch a christian content because for you to be watching this video right now maybe probably you came here to watch something else and some way somehow youtube suggests my videos to you because i talk about the subjects or the people you like watching right here on the platform so i kind of like in one way or the other slipped into the algorithm and then i found myself in front of you in case you're watching me for the first time hit on that subscribe button i really say that like this video it helps with the algorithm if you want someone else to see this video but if you don't want anyone else to see this video don't like it don't comment just be going i'm just telling you because the more you comment the more we go back and forth in the comment, you are helping the video you hate so much be seen by people who it should be seen by. So don't engage in the video. If you don't like my opinion about, if you don't like my opinion about the stories that are here on social media, you don't have to like it actually. Just watch me quietly and go. Don't be engaging with the content because the more you engage with me, the more the video goes more viral i tell you right here behind the scenes because i want you to make sure that you are watching contents on social media you enjoy watching that keeps you sane if my videos give you sleepless nights please i'm so sorry you'll keep seeing me